Me and Silas is in a big box blind, and I mean, it's a big one with sliding windows, and we got deer all around us. And my plan was to wait on Matt to film the kill, but we're there, and, and Silas is, you know, that's a great management deer. My luck, if I don't shoot this deer now and wait on Matt, we'll never see this deer again. And Silas is like, dude, that is, that's a perfect deer for us to take out. That's one of the deer Landon wants you to shoot. All we have to do is wait for the deer to get in position, and uh, I'm gonna burn him. <laughs> Bang, and the deer takes off. That buck come right out of the brush and stood behind the tree. And then finally moved over to the left and I just grunted just to stop him. Without this Caldwell uh, tripod, I just wouldn't have been steady enough. I made the best shot that I could make in that situation. Only way I can explain this is when you've got that cylinder inside of a blind, it's almost like you drop a hand grenade in the blind. That's what happens with the hand cannon performance center 500. Look at that man. Done deal, buddy. Blood everywhere. You know, there's the deer laying over there all piled up, blood all over the place. Ooh. Hey, I'd say we made a pretty good shot. Me and Silas pinched 500 Smith. Give it to him. A nice. 135 to 140 inch management buck, so I got one on the ground. Trigger pull is absolutely critical on the handgun, and I just squeeze, 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 whoa. It's like a hand grenade went off inside that blind. So, uh, hey, we got us a nice buck, and uh, Silas, I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Thank